This was the ballast out of a uh, Whites of America Florex bucket light, which has since been converted into a regular light fixture with a um, lamp holder just directly wired to mains and bypassing this piece of crap. The uh, exploded ship in the center of the frame was a um, NXP UBA2021P monolithic uh, compact fluorescent lamp driver IC and it popped and there's a little shiny thing right in the center of the frame right there that is the burnt off stub of one of the pins there are actually two of the pins that burnt off but that's the only one that has a shiny top of it that's actually visible on the video and there's this fairly substantial uh, well to the side of the board burn track from the exploded nastiness from the uh, dye in the chip vaporizing there's also the top of the uh, IC case has distorted and uh, the chip has actually cracked uh, all the way through from the um, force of the uh, dye blowing up and on these two capacitors here it can be seen that there's a uh, black burn on them that isn't just smush that is actual actually melted into the case of the capacitor from the uh, from when the uh, chip exploded and also both of the uh, caps in the potential uh, doubler have, uh, have bulged not really noticeable on video but they're pretty much hose and uh, what else? Um, and there's uh, this one there cap. You can see that cap right down there. The ceramic one, right under the bent over MOSFET, is um, cracked. So, yeah, this uh, is dead. And then there's uh, the design is based on a potential doubler so that the actual ballast runs off about. 320 volts DC to 340 volts DC. That little fusible resistor right there, 0.22 ohm thing right there. Because, as with many compact fluorescent lamp designs, this has a fusible resistor instead of a proper fuse. Because uh, fusible resistors are designed to limit heat current, they aren't designed to interrupt it. And so, as a consequence, they get fairly hot. And many times, if you see a failed compact fluorescent lamp where there's some little glowing red thing burning a hole in the case, uh, that's the culprit. And one other thing to note about this is that one of the MOSFETs is fake. They're both supposedly ST microelectronics, but the one on the left, or the one on the right, the printing on it is off slightly and the ST logo is malformed. I'll see if I can cut that out later in the video. But it's also the probably genuine one on the left you can see that there's differences in the dye pattern you can see that there's fairly uh, visible marks in the corners of the heat sink tab on the left one that aren't really visible on the right and another thing to note is the tops of the heat sink tab in the uh, one on the uh, right there's a fairly noticeable shear line from when the uh, tab was formed and that is not visible in the uh, one on, in the what's now the one on the bottom because uh, that's one of the big problems that the Chinese are causing with the electronics industry is fake chips let me see if I can get the uh, logo to show up I can kind of see it and See if I can cut those MOSFETs out, but yeah, this is a... So on top of being a crap design, because again, it's a Chinese piece of crap, Whites of America ballast. Oh, by the way, that, um, that, uh, I, the uh, inductor that was there broke off afterwards. That was not uh, that thing when I uh, yanked it out of the fixture. But now if I can cut that MOSFET out... Here is the, uh... 
likely suspect device. And it's probably somewhat hard to see on camera, although this might show up better in full screen. But the logo, but the ST Microelectronics logo in the bottom left in the bottom left hand corner is somewhat malformed. I really just want to show up on camera. Uh, I don't know if you can kind of see it, but uh, yeah, it's probably in full screen somewhere around here. Yeah, there you can kind of see it, as opposed to a genuine device of recent manufacture like this. It's the uh, TIP 142 uh, Power Darlington transistor, but. Yeah, there you can see that the logo is much more defined. And especially on an older, in the case of that old inverter, I did that Gets video on. Let's see. There you can really see the ST Microelectronics logo. I think we did a video of this. Oh, they got a proper camera, but... Anyway, that and that are what proper ST Microelectronics logo should look like. The one on this piece of crap doesn't look anything like that because the top of it isn't very even and there's a bunch of voids where ink was never or paint was never properly applied so yeah it's a uh, but then again Chinese piece of crap and likewise with the other MOSFET which might also be a fake Although, given how crap this might be, this might be quote-unquote genuine ST Microelectronics devices, but they're just hideously made because that's what the Chinese do. Yeah. Piece of garbage. I would recommend that you avoid getting those piece of crap lights and market bucket lights, but then again, that goes without saying. And if you do get one, get one for a buck or two bucks like I do with surplus stores. Cut this piece of crap out and just direct wire the lamp holder. Or just get a better fixture in the first place and don't bother. Because those suck. Those suck. Yeah. yeah.